Uh, what I'm testing out here is, is um, this particular MacBook Pro has got a battery in it that says replace now. So literally if you unplug it, um, it's going to completely shut off. So it has absolutely no cycle power on it, nothing. It's just running directly on the, uh, the AC itself. And as, of course, as you know with MacBooks, um, when you plug it in, if, it, if the light's green, that means it's just plugged in. If the light turns orange, it means it's, cha it's charging the battery inside your MacBook. And it usually means that your, your battery is either good or it's got a few cycles left on it, so it's not completely dead. All right, I re like I said, I recently purchased this MacBook Pro, and uh, I noticed that it was v lagging. Like, the video was just awful. Um, and I'll show you here what I'm talking about. And this particular one's got line installed on it. Okay. We'll make sure we get the clock set correctly. Because if you don't have your clock set correctly on a on a MacBook, that will mess things up as well. You'll get a lot of errors and stuff. So we're connected online. We'll just go to a web page here. It should fix it. Let's see. Okay. All right. So let's go. First thing you'll notice is if you watch a video, and we'll go go ahead and go on YouTube. I'll go ahead and click on a video, and let's go ahead and put the sound down on it. I mean, I could already, you could already tell it's lagging. If we put the, if we put the cursor over the battery, it'll say condition replace now, as you can see right here. Condition replace now, battery not charging, power source power adapting, power adapter. So as you can tell, it's really laggy so what I've read online is that what happens is is that We're just about a year away. it'll it'll reduce your processor speed you know, whether you have an i5 or an Intel Core 2 Duo or if you have an i7 it's going to slow it down so you can see how you can see how it's freezing and it's slow And uh, there's no reason that this MacBook should be doing this because it's it's got a freshly new installed operating system. And if we go to about this Mac, see every time I go to do something, it's just completely laggy. So you can see there, it's got six gigs of RAM in it an i5 processor 2.3 gigahertz alright so let's go ahead and power it down and put the new the battery I just purchased now I purchased this battery on eBay used it's the best um, eBay is the best place you can buy used parts for laptops MacBooks um, what I was assuming was is that laptops are like alarm clocks it's in your home right where it doesn't matter if it's plugged into the wall. It doesn't matter if it's got a, you know, if it's got a double A battery in it or not. You know, if the power goes out, the double A battery will take over. Um, but if you take the battery out, it's not like the clock is is going to stop performing. And I was assuming a MacBook was the same way. Uh, from what I've read online, that is not the case. Now PCs like Dells or uh, IBMs or whatever, they now th that might be a different story. Because I have not with PCs. Like I said, Dell's Toshiba's. I have not seen a reduction in processor speed if you take the battery out. 
but evidently with a MacBook Pro it does. Now what you want to do is unplug it and of course there's 10 screws on the corner. I went ahead and took them out for you know speed. The two tools that you're going to need, you're going to need the, the Phillips small Phillips head screwdriver and then you're going to need a little tool called the tri-wing screwdriver uh, to, to take the battery out. As you can see it's got three different lines. You can, if you don't have one of these screwdrivers, I mean on eBay you can get them for like a buck, but um, uh, you could try using like a small flathead screwdriver to take your battery out. I, I wouldn't recommend it, I would just recommend get get one of these. Let's go ahead and uh, take out the battery and change it for the uh, the new one. And like I said before, you can get um, a new battery on um, you can get a new battery on eBay for I've seen them as low as twenty bucks used. Sometimes you can get them for twenty twenty five bucks. Um, it's to your you know to your precaution. I don't know if you you know you can get a brand new one. For 25, that's you know it's a set, it's an aftermarket uh, made in China, which they're all all Apple products are made in China, but uh, this is from a different manufacturer. You can get uh, an after an after product um, uh, battery, brand new. Now, I haven't heard about any issues with those, but I know the chargers have had issues uh, catching on fire and everything. The aftermarket, so I'd really recommend if you can. If you can get you a, a genuine uh, MacBook battery, I would recommend it used. I got this one for like 22 bucks, uh, and again, it will have the model number down here, A1322. Um, so just read it on your your bad battery. All right, there's some tape there, and that should just pop right out. What you want to do is you want to make sure you undo this as well. It's a little clip attached to the logic board. So that's that. All right, so now let's go ahead and put in the um, good battery, and then put the uh, tri wing screws back in, and hopefully this will speed it up. Hopefully it'll be at full processor capacity. Uh, I believe. I said this was a 2.5 gigahertz, I believe. 2.3, 2.5. And of course, put your lid back down, and of course, you'll put your screws back in, which I'll do later. And uh, so, automatically, it turns on because I got a good battery in it. Let's go ahead and plug her up anyway. So that should turn orange. Yep, there we go. It's an amber orange when it starts charging the battery. So it started up pretty quick, so that's pretty good. Um, that's a pretty good um, indicator. And we're at 62 percent. Looks like the battery's at 62 percent. And if we click on there, okay. And we probably have to change the clock again. I could already tell it's 20 times as fast. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's have the cops caught. As you may know, there is an important election coming up. We're just about a year away from when American voters will head to the polls and choose the next president. Okay, so, as you can tell, it's lightning fast now. Um, as compared to where it was four, I mean, it was it was just giving me fits being so slow. Uh, the video quality's good. Everything's 
when I click when I hit a, a button it clicks off it turns on um, I mean extremely fast now so that answers the question does a replace now bad battery make your processor make your your computer sluggish and the answer to that question I guess is yes so if you got got a lap MacBook uh, pro battery with a um, with a bad battery replace now battery um, go ahead and replace the battery in order to get up and running again all right thank you for watching okay I'll show you here real quick um, how to find your battery uh, again your model number should be like a is an apple and like four numbers so just look on the back of your on the back of your apple um, battery so let's say what we'll type in here let's say the back of your your battery says a 1322 so what you want to do is go on eBay or Amazon but I'm on eBay right now and just type in battery okay and then you could see here you could choose right here it'll say best match ending soonest so what you want to want to do here is you want to go with um, lowest first because of course you're going to want to get the cheapest as you can and then you want to go right here at buy it now not auction alright so we can see here um, some batteries now this one here you can't see it because of the screen but it says as is uh, of course you're going to want to stay away from that so we'll go ahead and scroll down here replace soon you're going to want to stay away from untested of course stay away from uh, let's see this one says new or actually they're saying it's new but it says used here so $14.99 plus shipping so it's 20 bucks um, pulled but then it says parts only sold as is so you want to stay away from that Here's another one. It says used working. And then we'll go down here in the description. Original, genuine, 2009 to 2012 Apple MacBook battery. Capacity 81 to 84%. Um, and then, of course, the price is 20 bucks. I would I would get that one immediately. I would even look to any, anywhere else. And the, rigid, the reason is is because it says genuine. Um... I would, like I said, I would go go with that as you know, as opposed to an aftermarket one. Um, and it should take you know anywhere from three to five days to get to you. If you want to narrow your search a little bit more, uh, you could say genuine. Okay. And of course, the one that we want pops up, you know, closer. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.